layer property overrides. Not only can we uh, dictate our freezing and thawing of our layers in each individual viewport, we can dictate the color, line type, line weight, transparency, and plot style for each viewport. So if I click inside and make it active, I go up to my layers property manager. When I slide over, I can determine whether I want it frozen or what color it is. So I'm going to go with the, uh, the eyes red and I'm actually going to keep the continuous but in the line weight the eyes I'm going to give them a really like black eye kind of thing right uh, really thick lines and I can actually choose if I want some transparency or not uh, likewise I can come over and uh, take the smile and I can change the smile to be a dashed right and I'm gonna make all the things red in this case so we're gonna make everything red about this viewport so I can dictate the color the line type the line weight the transparency uh, etc I'll even give it some transparency here I'll give it 50 and then I'll close out of it and you can see now everything in this viewport went to red his eyes are transparent um, and they're not showing up very thick and that's because of my hang on here uh, I want to go over here to my options and I'm gonna make some uh, line weight settings here and I'll display my line weight there we go now you can see he's got thick black eyes kind of a thing red thick red eyes in this case he's got a different line type for his smile so we can dictate more layer properties than just uh, freezing and thawing now if at some point we want to go back and remove these layer overrides I can come in here and right click I can pick I'll, excuse me I'll uh, hang on here I'll pick on the viewport right click and I can say remove viewport overrides for all layers and I'll pick that and then it takes off everything that was on all the different uh, overrides and goes back to just allowing the layer properties to, to manage everything in paper space and model space so we can control anything we want about any viewport we want